Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Wanna go through a little bit of a, just a market update, market talk video today on the game FIFA 20. It was a kind of a quiet Monday in terms of content. Literally no new SBCs um, for this Monday. We have the Corona, the Gomez, and I still haven't done the Game Changer SBC. Might not do it, we'll see. Um, but today, the only content that we really got on this Monday was the Icon Swaps. Um, and we all know how those are. EA is making these last 12 icon swaps. Definitely pretty hard to get. I mean, you have to play a lot of games of rivals. I mean, you know, you could overlap a few of these with 11 first owner players. You could make 11 first owner prem players and you could do two of these at the same time. You know, you could make 11 first owner Brazilian players and, and do that at the same time as well. Um, European cup, you know, maybe even throw 11 UCL players and I don't know it's gonna take you a long time or at least longer than the last set of Icon swaps to complete this one in my opinion because it requires a lot of rivals wins I mean you're looking at how many rivals wins is this? I mean There's eight objectives here uh, And you need ten Plus uh, so you need like what 34 rivals wins or something like that 34 rivals wins maybe and then how many like the, the the squad battles are about the same six squad battles my oh my gosh so you need 23 23 squad battles wins and 34 or more wow that's a lot of games to play for the last set of icons but people are going to be grinding this you're going to see people finish it up because they've done the work for the first set uh so yeah that, that was kind of crazy today I, I went on the game for a little bit this afternoon I uh, checked the companion and I saw those objectives and I was like, man, EA is not letting us off easy for these icon swaps. But I want to talk about a few other things today. Since we did not get SBC content, what happens to the market when we don't get anything that provides supply or um, or you know causes any sort of panic on the market? We get cards going up. Now, a lot of stuff was very, very low this morning. And when I'm talking low, we're talking like big time Low. We're going to ch uh, check out a footprint graph right here. Early this morning, uh, the index gold down here at 47 points. Headed out of Sunday night into Monday after squad battle rewards. Even stuff was very low this morning. Um, a lot of uh, icons are down. High rated golds are down. Just like people are, are scared. I think people are getting their coins liquid uh, or they've done SBCs and they're, they're trying out these road to the final cards. Uh, I think that's where a lot of people's coins are going towards right now uh, because today we did not get any, any content and you saw some of these road to the final cards actually rise up today after 6 p.m. People are getting smart in this game, boys. Look at this. People are getting smart. They know. Look at this. Look at this price before 6 p.m. UK. 430, 440, about the same. Goes back down to 430 right before 6 p.m. UK. What happens after that? No content. Boom. Three hours after 6 p.m. UK, he goes from 434K all the way up to 470. 470,000 coins. He's still going 485K for Militao right now at the moment. So a lot of people, what it seems like they did today was they... um. We didn't get any content, so they went out here and they wanted to try out a few of these players. Juan Jesus is up a little bit. Wendell is up a few K. Dybala is up some. Allen is up some. I think Allen was like two, two seventy something last night. Is that? Uh, am I correct in saying that? He was like two seventy something. He was two seventies last night. Boom. Today, six p.m. UK. No content comes. He goes right up to three hundred thousand coins where he is currently at. So. One thing that's very good about this, even though a lot of you guys are probably wanting to buy these cards, maybe you tried them out, um, and you're like, yo, when are they going to be there? Excuse me, when are they going to be their absolute cheapest? And that is the big million dollar money question. And to be honest with you, don't get panicked yet. We still have the rest of this week with these cards and packs. We have weekend league rewards coming, and we have probably SBCs like Player of the Month Ben Yetter. We have this SBC coming today. The Vinicius or the Willian, which I'm pretty sure is going to be Vinicius, depending on how EA upgrades that Vinicius card or depending on how they price the SBC, you're probably going to see a lot of hype around this card. I mean, going from a 79 to an 82 for an informed boost, this guy's going to be very popular. A lot of people are going to want to use him. So um, watch for a little bit of panic on some of those cards. Of course, the, the cards that you're going to possibly link to him in a squad like Allen, Militao, and Wendell somehow make a little triangle with guys down the left side. Brazilian, I mean, you, these guys are already inflated, but 
you know, Nerez. I could see this card crashing a lot with the Vinicius SBC if that SBC is popular. This is a good card, but Vinicius, uh, you know, he's Vinicius. Real Madrid, he's going to have a dynamic image. I don't think Nerez has a dynamic image, actually. He's on the bench. 66K, though, he's up a little bit. That's what happened to a lot of these cards today. They just kind of trickled upwards in price because um, people, there was no content today. And uh, you, you saw this on the index gold over here, too. No content today. Stuff kind of rises. Uh, but, but people are definitely scared. And that's that's so easy to see that people, EA have trained people this year with this market by consistently dropping the market and honestly, just letting the market drop lower and lower as we go on throughout the year. People are people are scared, man. Look at Mbappe. He's right around a million coins, down like a, a 100,000 over the weekend. Um, of course, his, his card has come back into packs from when he had an inform. Messi is down a lot. A lot of you guys are asking me, yo, when should I buy Messi? When should I buy Messi? He was 1-4. Now he's 1-3-5. When should I buy him? Um, I, I still think you have time to wait on some of these cards. I mean, I still think there's going to be more panic on some of the higher tier cards as we head into Black Friday and stuff like that. So um, I would say if you want to buy a team for this weekend, just wait and see what happens this week. A lot of people are just kind of chilling, looking on the market. You can tell that a lot of people have invested in some of the the SBC fodder, which I, I mentioned this earlier in the week, if you did a little bit of a club stock, you're looking really good right now, especially with some of those League One players. Verratti is twelve thousand coins. Uh, I I remember specifically buying him on my video for Ben Yedder Player of the Month two days ago uh, at ten k flat. So there's a little bit of money there. Uh, Icardi's up a little bit. You know the French. I think even that goalkeeper. Where is uh, Fakir? Three point eight k. Uh, even our favorite goalkeeper, the French goalkeeper that's 84 rated, his name is escaping me right now, but he is not even on this cheapest list, which he usually is. So there's something to be said about that. But it looks like some of these higher rated golds have creeped up in price a little bit. 87s a little bit. 88s are about the same. But the 86s are, I think, one of the most popular ones to invest in. 85s as well. They have gone up just a little bit because I think a lot of people are really expecting big things from this Vinicius SBC today. And I want to continue to talk about that a little bit. Uh, I think this is an SBC that a lot of people are going to go out and do. I mean, it's all, again, it depends. The, the big time SBCs this week with the Vinicius, with the Ben Yedder, and with the Nabry player of the month, or maybe another uh, road to the final SBC if we get another player besides Vinicius, which doesn't seem very likely, but just throwing it out there. The pricing and the upgrade and the rarity of that position and how it fits into people's teams, it's a lot of requirements, but if it checks off all those boxes with flying colors, I mean, that is a big time SBC. That's why Ben Yedder, we've been talking about this, the Ben Yedder card has the potential to do crazy things to this market just because uh, of the hype that he has, the hype that that card has. I think, are people really investing in this Vinicius card for the SBC? Are they investing in the blue version of Vinicius for the SBC? He's 5K. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I could see this SBC being anywhere from like 80K to like 200K. And I still think some people would do it. But if it's 80K and on that lower budget, I think you'll see a lot more people end up doing this Vinicius. Um, and that's going to be something to watch as well. You know, we like to talk about link investments and popular cards. The link investments go up to them. I'm just thinking about this now. The main man over here on Footbin, uh, this inform Benzema has dropped down a decent amount this weekend thanks to all the panic from the strikers. Uh, Benzema is 102,000 coins. That would be a very easy link to this Vinicius card. I mean, he is usable in game. Benzema, he's not like super meta, but he's usable, and that works for this game. So again, if there's any other like really easy links to this Vinicius card, uh, informs. Uh, or out of packs cards, Mike. Even some of these, uh, even some of the scream cards. Maybe you see Tony Cruz or um, Tony Cruz at 270. Maybe you also see James Rodriguez uh, as another scream card with a big time boost. It's very popular. 290k, so he's up a little bit today. He was 270 yesterday. Just watch some of this stuff. Of course, the stuff that is out of packs is going to rise first and it's going to rise the most. Think about um, D Young's inform card when the PK SBC comes out, but that's just because these don't have supply coming onto the market. If they release a Vinicius SBC where you get the card in a couple packs, you know, the like a guy like Jordi Alba may rise up a little bit, um, kind of like for the PK situation, 
but he's getting packed at the same time. These The stuff that's out of packs, like these informs and special cards, are not going to be getting packed. Marcelo is definitely up in the Vinicius Jr. hype. He was 14K this weekend. Look at this, Sunday, he's 13K. And now the man is up at 18,000 coins because people finally strapped their helmets on and realized, hey, Vinicius probably winning this SBC. Um, is Casemiro up at all? I know a lot of people were investing in Casemiro. What is he at at the moment? He is 16,000 coins, so he's up as well. So people are preparing for this SBC. A lot of people have invested for it. So if you're invested, uh, I would say just be careful. Be careful with that SBC, high-rated golds. The you know maybe Maybe you take your coins beforehand, take the safe route and take some of those coins beforehand. But again, some of these icon prices, there's just been a lot of panic on the market because of all these SBCs that EA is coming out with, these new Road to the Final cards, which some people are obviously selling their icons for to go try these cards out. Wow, Zanetti, 538, that's low. This Carlos Alberto for 860 was very low. Look where he's at right now. The man is back over 900,000 coins. Unbelievable. That's why icons are so fun to trade with, man. So fun to trade with. But again, a lot of these guys have taken hits. Van Basten, 540, that's kind of normal. Owen for 550 earlier today. Looks like he's back up to 600 almost. Yeah, just under 600. So maybe the panic has subsided a little bit on some of these cards. Um, but again, I don't think that the, the panic is anywhere anywhere over, man. I think that the Vinicius SBC, whatever else we get this week, we're going to get more pack supply too. I mean, a lot of you guys are scared um, that we're going to lose the chance to buy the road to the finals. Just wait, okay? Just hold on. Hold on tight. The time has not come yet. There will be a time. It will come. I know you guys want to get that Militao on your team. Um, and I think I mentioned this before, but the stuff that rose today, the stuff that you saw rise today when there was no content uh, and it was just pure uh, people wanting to go out and try cards, the Allen that rose today, the Militao that rose like 40,000 coins today. I think Dybala rose up some. Juan Jesus rose. Um, Nerez rose. Coman Rose as well. Like those are the guys when you see them rise on a kind of a day with not a lot of hype or, you know, when people are just going out and trying cards and you see those players rise, that just gives you an idea of which players are going to rise the quickest again when there is another rise potential. So after we get to more supply on these cards, what cards are going to rise up the most? I mean, this isn't an obvious, it's more of an obvious question when you look at the team, but who's going to rise up? Probably the Militao, probably the Allen, um, the Juan Jesus, again, the Coman. When you see the rises like that, though, just give confidence and hey, this card is a good riser. We didn't get any content today. He's still in packs, but people are wanting to go out and try that card. And his price went up 40K. That's 10% on this Eder Militao card. So that means to me that he's very overpowered, but we already knew that. Very overpowered, very meta, and very desired for a lot from a lot of people in this game. So I'm really excited to see what happens tomorrow with the content, or today, Tuesday, um, with the Venetius SBC. Again, it's all going to come down to how EA values the SBC and how much, what do they want to do to the market? Because they know that they have the whole entire market in their fingertips at all times. That's why the Vardy SBC, that was planned. Don't even let somebody tell you that that was not planned. EA knows what they're doing when they're dropping an SBC like that that is so doable that everybody's going to go out and do. It's going to crash the market and cause a lot of waves. Uh, they, they knew what they were doing. They absolutely knew what they were doing with that Vardy SBC uh, and with this Road to the Final promo out this week. One last check. I'm going to do this every video this week. We're going to check. Wow, there's no promo packs. Dang. Jumbo Premium Golds are the best packs in the store. Less than 1% chance, of course, for packing a Road to the Final card on those. Not the hottest of odds. But check the promo cards every day because if you see that percentage up, could see a few extra uh, promo cards see some road to the final cards on the market dropping a little bit more because they can vary those odds. It does say in the fine print, they can vary those odds. So that's something that we kind of have to, to, to watch. They can tweak those. And uh, that's something that we have to kind of pay attention to. So hopefully you guys learned something today. Hopefully you're having fun with this, with this game at the moment. I mean, we got some grindable content today, but I don't think a lot of people are super excited about these icon swaps just because it's super duper grindy. And again, incorporate the friendlies mode that you did so much work to this year added all these new modes and stuff we're not even using that game mode as a part of these objectives at all yet i don't even know if i've seen other than like play one game of king of the hill for to get xp i don't I haven't seen any of those other game modes and the friendlies been a part of these icon swaps or like legit 
like this Mbappe Road to the Final. It's all rivals and squad battles. Come on. Give us some friendlies. Give us some special matches. King of the Hill, I'll play that game mode. Mystery ball, whatever. So that's my only thing with those. I'm going to keep saying it until they do it, to be honest, because it's they spent money and they spent time to upgrade that friendlies mode, and they're not using it. So we'll see what happens, though. Again, if you're grinding those icon swaps, let me know who you're going to get. I'm going to be going for Rio. He fits in my team. He's going to be in my team for a while. And I cannot be asked to go out and get uh, all 12 swaps and try to get Zanetti. I mean, Zanetti would be cool, but Rio is going to be the one who it's going to have to be because I just don't want to grind through all those freaking icon swaps to go and, and get Zanetti. So Rio, it's, Rio is who it's going to be. I have eight tokens. I'm going to get eight more. And then I will have 16 for Rio, which will be nice. I guess Zanetti is like only one token more, but still, that's another probably five or six hours of grinding, depending on what token I have to get for that. Winning six squad battles games, that doesn't take six hours, I guess, but you know, maybe two or three hours of grinding to get another token, just not worth it in my opinion. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. I'm excited to see what happens on this Tuesday content with the, the Willian or the Vinicius SBC. A lot of Brazilian stuff happening this week. We're getting closer to a team of the week as well. Uh, so that's going to be fun times as well. So hopefully some good content today. Of course, again, if you like this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.